My name is Arik and I'm one of the co-founders of Dice Rocks. I've started to collect knives since I was six years old and through the years I sold, exchanged and played with a variety of knives. When COVID hit and I decided to leave a job I really didn't like, my wife challenged me to maybe stop buying knives and start designing your own knife. One of my closest friends, Trevor, another co-founder of Dice Rocks and I shared the same passion for knives and axes. We installed a forge in his backyard and began our journey of designing and building the perfect knife for us. We love the Viking sax design. We took that, that as the basic and started to play around with different shapes, with different weights, with different sizes of, of the knife. We, we hand forged 50, 55 knives until we realized, wait, we can also start using 3D printing. So we moved our designs to 3D printing. So it's simpler to play with different type of grips on the knife. We added thumb wrist, we added a finger choil. We understood how the exact balance of the knife should look like. Eventually, after one year, this was born. The perfect knife for us. Something that we know that is inseparable from our grip, from our body. Something that can handle anything the day might throw at it. Something that is small enough to put in your backpack when you're just going on your day to cut cardboards, ropes, seat belts in case of emergency. Something you can take to the forest with you to feather wood, to chop wood. The perfect knife for us. And then we started to show it to friends and, and they they loved it and we figured out why not take it to the next step. So we partner with Udaholm, which is Swedish steel company, and we chose Valnax as the steel we would like to work with. It's 95% recycled, it has a superb edge retention, very unique corrosion resistance, and extremely tough steel. We work with both convex and scadding grind, depend on how you like it, if you like convex. Personally, I chose convex, but you can also configure the knife in a scandic, with a scandic grind. And this is the knife that came up with. Of course, when we did a small version, we needed to do a bigger version as well. If you really need to uh, escape your mother-in-law into the wild or the zombie apocalypse, it, that can really handle anything. We started to look at additional materials we would like to integrate into our knives. We chose recycled Swedish oak. Even the screws that we are inserting into our knife are being thrown by other companies and we take them instead of producing new screws and, and contributing to the overreaching production as it is. We go and hunt in second-hand shops. We buy old bags. This this leather was made in a bag in the 40s. It's an old doctor bag that we took apart and started to experiment with different minimalistic design for leather sheets. So all of the leather we are using is second-hand leather. We, we are buying it and we are repurposing it. This is by far the most interesting knife I have done. And of course, I'm biased. I've designed it and, and we build it ourselves. And we really hope you're going to like it as well. We tested it over and over and over again. We threw anything we might think our day can throw on this knife. And then we went one step further. We gave it to a lot of people to test. And we really hope you guys are going to like it as well.